It's Metro Fan TV coming to you live from Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. We are here with the one, the only, the notorious Eric Friedlander, the one and only. Uh, Friedlander, I understand that this is going to be the last game uh, before you head back up to Amherst, but it's a pretty good way to seal up a pretty uh, decent summer, wasn't it? Like a yeah, I don't, I think I saw, I don't think I saw a loss at Red Bull Arena all summer. Yeah, I don't, I don't. maybe one time. <laughs> It's so like you come here, you don't expect to see a loss, and they rarely lose. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, all things considered, today, right? I mean, uh, this was a very, just a very competent performance, and a very, uh, you know, I mean, against a, a t uh, an opponent that had some talent, but was definitely struggling to put everything together. You know, I mean, like our reserves mostly came in, and they did a pretty good job, like shutting everything down. They, I, mean, I mean, like it's a terrible day to play soccer. It's like 95 degrees, 100 percent humidity, feels like 110. And we play an up-tempo style. We have to kind of relax how we do. And I think that's maybe part of why the press has looked over the past couple weeks. It looked a little mellowed. It's just like this weather, it gets, catches up to you. You slow down and you can't go full 90. Everything, everyone slows down. It's just So I think that might have been why like people think the press is like slowing down. But like, Armis has said, like, oh, I don't, I want to press just as much. It's no different. So. Uh, I think it definitely fighting through the swampy conditions in a team that has kind of battling fatigue as well today. You know, I mean, a gutty 1 0 win again. A team that's just kind of grinding out results and a mostly reserved squad today grinding out that result. Yeah. And I think uh, they have to give your props off to the guys who stepped in, especially a certain debutante by the name of Brian White, right? Yeah, I think he had a fantastic game. To to I mean, anyone who followed me, like, I seen, saw Brian White play PDL where he scored. 25 goals or something in the PDL, and I was like hammering that like all through the draft process. I was like, thank God they're playing him out wide during the combine because he's not a winger. I was, everyone who was at the draft knows I was like, they're going to draft Brian White. Brian White is the guy. Like, he's everything they wanted Brandon Allen to be. Like, he can hold up the ball, he can pass the ball, he can get in behind, he can challenge in the air. He kind of is like a very well rounded striker. He does it all. He doesn't do anything maybe amazing he doesn't like pop off the chart eye test but he gets goals he had eight goals five assists for red bull too like he's just solid he does it all okay? yeah i mean i think what really stood out today was his link up play up top right i think uh, you saw every flick just flicked onto davis flicked on the ivan like everyone just kind of like considering the conditions just played really well like even though we only got one goal like not having to play kaku not having to play bwb that rest is going to help us in the playoffs so. yeah. Especially now looking ahead to the Montreal away game. Uh, trip up to Estad Saputo hasn't been the Never easiest easy. venues of it for us, but uh, how does this raise your, how does this change your outlook uh, going into that game? I think, I, like, I feel like we can win any game, any team. It's like our defense is solid. We have Mario, Kamar didn't have to play, so he's been like grinding this whole like stretch. He got a rest. Mario had his like suspension, so he had a rest, so he should be good. Long got a rest. Parker, Parker's gonna hit a brick wall, he'll be fine, like he's a tank. Like, we got people rested, Bradley got rested, Taku got rested, like, people who probably needed that full week to just kind of refresh and get, like, their engines charged, like, he's good, we're good to go. I think we can pull it out. It's not gonna be easy, it's never easy, but I think maybe, like, a 2-1 in Montreal. All right. And I guess uh, to finally wrap everything up here, uh, anything you want to say to your haters before you go to Amherst? Follow me. Just follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Read my Academy stuff. Academy preview coming soon. As long as, as soon as Willie drops the lineups. So Willie, drop the lineups, please. I want to write that article. Go. Shout out to Ripple News Network, Metro Band TV, signing out.